Hello everybody, welcome back to more Exit the Gungeon. We are gonna enter the, the Gungeon so we can exit the Gungeon. We got some more items unlocked that we have not had in the past. And we're gonna pop in with Arsenal mode because as I said, I really don't think I'll probably ever go back to the base mode. It's just, the Arsenal mode is, in my opinion, really going to be the definitive way for me to play with the uh, random elements still being there with the gun if you need them, but it's kind of, well, oh, oh my goodness. The, the starter gun is garbage. Uh, it's kind of taking the place of your starter weapon instead of taking the place of all of your weapons, which is a much better situation. Uh, and by that, I mean, I'm speaking in terms of like an enter the gungeon, you know, every character has the infinite ammo weapon. This really does make it so it is, uh, it's more aligned with that, uh, instead of, yeah, being literally everything in your, well, it, well, within your arsenal, you know? Which I, I quite a bit, uh, quite a bit prefer. But hopefully we can see the new boss today that I think, I think we unlocked the ability to see? I'm not, I'm not sure, man, I don't know. Look at all that, the, the bees are turning them into, uh... Yeah, the bees can polymorph them. That's interesting. That's not how the mechanics work in, in Enter, and I, quite frankly, I prefer it. I prefer this. So plus one bullets are an option, and a, and a very good one. Heck Blaster and the Judge we could buy as a gun if we so choose, maybe. Let's see if we can even get to 110 bucks. I think we could. Between these three rooms and the, uh, the boss, I'll bet you we could. Oh. My goodness, that was a tight, tight dodge there. Currently, we don't have any uh, infinite or uh, non-infinite. Any reusable guns? Is that the term to call them? We came up with one before, and I can't remember what they, what we came up with. It forged, something like that. Arsenal, real, non-random. <laughs> I don't know. Comment down below. What do you think? And maybe the game even had a, a legit term for him, but I, whether or not it's there is a legit term or not, in the comments below, tell me what what do you think the guns should be called that are not the random ones, not the blessed ones? Because I would call this the blessed gun. Un unblessed, unblessed, forged, real, legit, too legit. I don't know. Give me what do you got? Comments down below. What the heck, man? What do we call it? I because it's gonna it's such a core mechanic of the game that I need something to call it. I need a real thing to call it. And I don't freaking got one. We'll, we'll come up with a, a bunch of them. I'm sure we're gonna get some some wonderful, wonderful answers. Like Carl. Carl gun. I am I'm not gonna use that. As great as it is, calling them Carl guns, unless that can stand for, uh, you know, unless we can come up with a good acronym, then quite frankly, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say no. Uh, change, change as, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of, like, change, change as you like, but, uh, but no, There's, it's an R. Change as Rito likes, instead of change as ran, random. Carl versus Carl. I don't know, man. That's the best I got for an acronym for Carl for that, but it's, uh, it ain't good. Speaking of, it ain't good. Blasphemy is, you know, it's, it's fine. It, it's fine in this. You can't, uh, or can you? Wait, is it? Is guard flashing in this? Wait, what? Is it? Guard flashing is in this? Since when? Oh my god, I need blasphemy. I need a I need a Carl blasphemy. Whoop. Boop, boop, boop. Got that Molotov down there. Tempted to drop see if we can drop through the floor to get it. Even though it would not help us in one single way. Mal Otav. Whip. Bop. Booey. 
Unicorn Horn is okay. It's okay. The fact that you need to jump around a lot and it just fully stops the beam is pretty problematic to its, uh, to its strength. Dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. All right. We got a really solid weapon for this. Gunzang. Hey. Hey. Holy moly. A very good gun. This is a very dangerous place, though. Okay, so now we can get back to uh, being at a range. Don't you do it to me. Okay. Slowly but surely. Scatter. Is it even... Okay, it is It is scattering. It is scattering. I couldn't... Oh! Too close for comfort. I couldn't tell with the sharks. Oops. Couldn't tell with the sharks. Boop, boop. Hey, heart synthesizer. We just unlocked that yesterday. But, uh, you know, let's humor it. What does it say in this? Extra chance for hearts on room clear. Okay, hey, you know, it's it's a slightly different, uh, slightly different, but barely, uh, version of that item. So, cool. I'm glad we checked. I'm gonna go with the plus one bullets and hope we get, uh, a carled weapon soon. Instead of buying one, I mean, maybe we'll get one in this next shop. I, the judge is actually pretty solid. And Heck Blaster is, is real good, especially because it can de-jam enemies in, I mean, I think that... I'm pretty sure that that works that way in this, too. Where it de-jams enemies. Oh, makeshift cannon. See, look at this. We could have been able to uh, to de-jam this guy with the Heck Blaster. That would have been great. Don't you do it. From beneath there. Look, it just gave us the, uh, the judge, too. It's like... I just don't know what to do. I guess I just go up top. It's basically saying, here, look. Here's a good situation for the... Uh, <laughs> for the heck blaster and then here is the judge is a banana all right all right all right banana top tier top tier so one wait one of the boards went away do I, I'm I'll be real I'm just gonna do all of them oh I got got big time son of a gun Son of a gun. I wish this would last forever. But you never know. <laughs> you know it can't. Unless, give me my own, my own personal, nope. Nope, did not get it. Also, I'm glad because <laughs> I, uh, happy to not finish that sentence there. Let's go here. I think that the middle one and the bottom should be the, uh, I believe that's the way out, like the legit way out. Uh, we should be safe here from the, no. The thing most likely to mess us up is probably gonna be these saw blades. Oh. Oh. Sir, open up. Did we get, we got frost bullets, didn't we? I didn't even process that. That's really, really good. The ability to freeze enemies entirely in their tracks is great. Absolutely great. Two hundred bucks, that should be enough to buy a gun. Beehive. There's no synergies in this game, otherwise I would definitely consider getting both of those. Unle I mean, unless they added them, but I feel like they would have... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. That's why you check these rooms before you buy anything. Shotgun Full of Hate is very good. Magic Suite is also very good. If we could get maybe... <laughs> uh... 
if, if we get a golden money drop, that's like a good start. What do we got? The judge. That's a good start, but it honestly might not even be enough. I think we're out of luck. I think we made a mistake. Void Marshal's pretty good. Functions differently. Three fire, a uh, three shot burst there. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Three shot burst. Pretty good damage. I would say it's roughly like just as good. Just as good, even though it's changed. 41 bucks. Ay, 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 ay. Big Iron. I think the Big Iron might be better in this than Enter, which is good because I. It's always been one of those guns that I, uh, I just, I feel very attached to. I don't know. I feel very attached to it. It just feels right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, okay. We're just right in there. I've actually, like, of all the bosses, this is the one of the ones I've fought the, uh, the least in this. The bullet. It's one of the ones I've fought the least. Yep. So I'm a little potentially concerned. Oh my god. I knew it! I lost track of my mouse. Blessing of Caliber, RC Rocket. Bring it. I would go as far as to say that the RC Rocket isn't even really like that great you know you, you think about enter and you're like that weapon's amazing but you have to remember you're not playing that game life is different here we leave and we ain't staying well, oh I thought it was the Deckard it's okay this is actually doing pretty good work All right ah but of course bonk power activates this is, um, a very strange item. And I guess we're just done here, aren't we? Very strange item. We can now jump on, uh, enemies' heads permanently. Like, kind of staying perma-invincible. We do, we do damage. It's, it's so strange. It's super strange. You can use it very, like, very, very well, but also... You get a little repetitive. And as long as you're like either touching their head or bouncing on uh, or like passing through a platform, you like gain the ability to shoot for a second, even though you normally can't shoot in the air. Kind of netting you invincibility as long as you can reliably bounce on their head, you know? And like you get to do a free shot every time every time you hit the head. Oh not maybe not with the tangler for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, you can see you can see how that could probably get a little silly very, very fast. Very silly, very fast. Okay, gilded bullets. Yep. We gotta. We gotta. It's one of the new ones. There's a new achievement in the game now. For, I think, getting three successes. Let's be honest. There's... There's no real choice in the matter here. I do like that we're... We're able to just go straight down and we didn't get caught in bouncy hell. Look at that little fake wallmonger. Oh! Second prize! Two out of three achievement. Good deal. To the kid goes the spoils. <gasps> Hip holster. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. We shoot out, yeah, we shoot out one bullet from it, which with the right uh, right weapon is a big deal. The question is if it shoots out a copy of the bullet like normal or if it shoots out just uh, a standard bullet. Like if we shoot out the anvil, 
Is it still going to copy the anvil and, uh, and shoot out a second anvil? Or is it just going to shoot out like a, a base bullet? A basic bullet. This is just crazy right here. Oh, mama. Give me the skull spitter. I'll take this. Bloody eye slows down enemy bullets to a pretty large degree. Quite good, quite good. All right. Mess them up. Mess, mess them up. Whoa, Billy. Left. Right. No, oh, left, right, left. Oh, man. How many times are we going to get hit today? Three, four. Embarrassing. Freeze ray. I can't say that I will probably want to use this too much. What's up here? 224 for gilded, which would probably be my main choice there. Probably. Should we bother with this? Commando's nice. I like this gun. I like this boy. It's uh, it's free. Free infinite. It's a blessed gun. Lowercase r. A good meme, but not a good gun. I hate to say. Speaking of not a good gun. That very much isn't. Oh. Uh. Okay. Lowercase r got glitched there. It was not firing, even though I was absolutely attacking. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Just... Why? Whoa. Two items at the same... I don't know if I've ever seen that. Two items at the exact same time. Almost like a glitch. We have potion of lead skin. We don't need to be safe. Which is good. That's my middle name. Not safe. Bolt Python, you dirty fool. I don't really want to fight you. Bolt Python, you little fool. So we don't leave a... We don't leave an amp anymore, huh? Oh, there it is. I guess we needed to get through the entire... Ammo. Capacity. Okay, so we can't really cheese him. Can't really cheese him. I would not consider the bell to be a good item. So I'm probably not going to mess with that. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. Oof. Tight stuff there. Oh, boy. I do not want you to get the ads, but I also don't really feel like wasting my time. It's such a... It's a lose-lose situation, really. Minecutter's actually pretty solid. Oh, I thought you died! Good use of bouncing. Kind of want to save the meat bun for after... Oh, uh, all right. Just wanted a blank to save the meat bun, so we do a whole bunch of extra damage. Oh, living ammo. Interesting. Whole bunch of extra damage, but as soon as we get hit, we lose it. Living ammo gives us uh, extra, or the ability to not get hit by physical, physical contact attacks, which could be really, really good with the spiked boots to uh, just make things even goofier. Even goofier. Oop. It might give us the ability to do damage with our dodge roll. No, I don't think so. Can you take me higher? <laughs> Can you take me to the place where DMCAs live? Oh, home and bullets with that is extra funny. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. It's super busted. It's super busted. Like, I mean, I think the trade-off is supposed to be that, you know, you, you're not able to, uh, attack. But you can, though, you know? I think that that's probably very much not on purpose. <laughs> boop, boop, 
Boop. 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 It's a really busted item when you, uh, when you get that in mind. You get something like the anvil and it's even funnier. But, like, it's also, like I was saying, pretty boring because it's kind of a very slow way of going about it. But, you know, if there's some situations where there's, like, a, a very large sum of... Yari Launcher. Hey. Sum of dangerous enemies or bullets on the screen. I might abuse it because it's just... You know, what else can you use the item for? That's what it's for. Being crazy. Helix is nice. Disarming personality. Kind of feels like a waste. I'm glad they discounted it. I'm glad they discounted it. It's it's a more logical purchase now. I'm not sure that I... I think, I think it's too late in the run. I can't imagine it saves me money. Can't imagine it saves me money. What? Prototype railgun! Oh! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> okay, so we have to be on the ground for it to start charging. It's so funny to just have it in this in this game where you got infinite ammo, you know? Just using it in all these tiny, tiny, tiny fools. That if you used it and enter the gungeon against a slime, you'd look like an absolute doinkus. Oop, don't open it. Mm, dog! Cool. Picks up items for us. Picks up money. Picks up items. And is cute. And we can pet. Oh, the wolf unlocked! Hey, we unlocked the wolf because we could pet the dog! could pet the dog in the uh, the beta patch as well, but uh, apparently, yeah, they, w they went and added the uh, the wolf. I know that after they added the ability to pet the dog, they, uh, a lot of people said, well, why can't you pet the wolf? I wonder if they're going, to, if they added the ability to pet the wolf. I mean, it's basically like, it's almost the same model, it, it, uh, like exactly. And by model, I mean sprite. You know what I'm saying? Unless they've changed it. I guess I, I guess I don't know what the wolf looks like in this, but I could only kind of imagine that it looks the same. <gasps> barrel! Barrel! Very, very good. Very, very good. All right. 228. All right. Mount. 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 Bip, 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 bip. Gonna use the barrel? No, you know, not when we have. Well, okay. I was gonna say, not when we have the uh, the lovely super meat gun. SAA is real good too, though, especially if you get the uh, the bounce off the wall shots for the auto auto homing extra damage. It is really, really good. Mega hand, I don't. Don't really care for. The vast majority of the charge up guns in this game, I'm kind of like, nah. Not really for them. Not really for them. Uh oh. Fish! 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 <laughs> the radiated lead, okay. See, that's me trying to use the, uh, use it well without using it annoyingly. The golden gun is, like, one of the all-time best guns to have with the AS. And look at, see, that's the, that's the, the risk of doing that, though. We lost our combo right before this fight here. So our gun that we get is possibly going to be worse. Almost certainly. Yeah, wind up gun. While better than its enter the gungeon counterpart is still not the way to go. Three, two, one! Ah! The timing on that, I'm still like, still figuring it out. To this day. Okay. Yep. 
Gun zing. One, two, three, four. Three. They only three. Why? Trixie Hobbitses. Oh my god. Evil. Are we going to take exactly one hit on all of these bosses? Okay, only three that time now. What are you doing to me, game? Give me trust issues. Okay. So the blown fuse gives us the ability whenever we pick up a skill, those floating little uh, bluish things. You know, I'm gonna take the beehive. Uh, whenever you pick up one of those, it does an AOE clear, or it does a blank effect, basically. I think it does more damage too, maybe. Beehive! Oh, that did not go how I wanted. Beehive is a, it's a little bit of a slower weapon. You don't have to aim, that's like the, the benefit there. Oh my god, Tangler. Oh! <laughs> I feel like they've, uh, they changed this so that you're less likely to get the, uh, the giant shellitons spawning all the time. Because this is our second run here and we haven't seen one yet here, which is good. Because they used to spawn like one on the top and one on the bottom and it just didn't... It felt terrible. It was spooky. Wait, what? Why? Okay. So we have to buy it again. So it's something you have to save up your money for, like the rat key or something. And it's... It, I thought that it was like a one and done unlock. Apparently not. Gotcha. Okay, well we'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe we'll have to, we'll have to save up our money actually now. 142. Casey! <laughs> it's a... Uh, you know... It's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. So it's always, like, we found it on the final floor both times. Depending on how much we get here, I may leave that one room. Let's see. Ah, oh, boy. Because what if we need to get 200 bucks and then go into one of those rooms. At this rate, there's no way we're getting. No, there's no way we're getting 200 in that room. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be weird. I'm going to be weird. We're gonna leave. And maybe we can. I don't know. Maybe we can do that room when we come back. This is a test. This is a test. We would not get to up to 200. We would not get up to 200 in that room. I can tell you that. I can tell you that much for free. Wait, can we like... Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you can. But just because you can doesn't mean that you should. They buff Casey? Oh, there's one. Okay, we're definitely above 200 now. Okay. Send it back. Okay. Here's hoping that door is still open. Okay, that door is still open. This is... Wait, what? I just realized, what are you doing here? Okay. 
Incorrect, then. It was not that. All right. Huh. The ever-living heck. Certainly confused. Abso certainly confused. Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh boy. Love Casey. I love it. I'm getting it as a uh, Casey uh, <laughs> Casey Carl weapon. Oh boy, I hope that's not the name of like a murderer. Uh, a Casey weapon with infinite ammo. I mean, it's always got infinite ammo, but now you get it for infinite time too. Uh, in this slot, it's it's just really nice. I'm not gonna use this weapon on the boss, so we might as well just do it now. What do you got? Railgun unlocked. Octo Rockin. Carried eight weapons at once. Ooh. New achievement. Start. Wait, if we get that, it's just gonna permanently. He's gonna permanently do that in the background? Oh no. I mean, that should be changed for sure. Oh my god. It's just permanently going? I mean, that's a little silly, huh? Oh, there we go. If we take it off our quick switch, I guess. I just realized we could die. I don't presume it will happen. But it's a very real possibility. Oops. That was bad. Amulet of the Pit Lord. We can fall into the pit without taking damage for a little bit here. I'm not doing very much with this stuff we're uh, stuff we're rocking. Should probably use is the barrel. The barrel's good. Okay. Ah! Come back, Rubidine. Rubidine's good, I think. I think. I think. If we could just get some time to uh, attack the boss, that'd be great. Thunderclap is actually pretty decent as well. It is really fun to have a different set of weapons that's that feels usable. I forgot about this. Uh, forgot about that, cheese. But it's like I said, it's a, it's a very slow way of playing, but... Oh, and also, yeah, your floor gives out on you randomly when you do that. Magnum. Yeah, we're just getting good guns for this. I just... Wait, it seems like they might have changed the slowdown so it affects them a little bit more than it affects you. I think it, I think they might have. I mean, yeah. the ideal is that they uh, make it equivalent to the Enter the Gungeon counterpart, where its bullet time is actually really, really good. Oh boy. We just cannot find time to actually hit this enemy. He keeps on going away. Okay. Use him as a, effectively like a mini blank almost, the way, <laughs> the way we used him there. Our damage is definitely not as good as it was yesterday. Junkin right at the end there. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oop. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Wait, we've only technically taken one hit, huh? Wait, we're only missing one HP. One hit of HP. 
not going to do the uh, jump on head cheese strat because, quite frankly, it makes us definitely do damage slower. And I just... We are already doing damage so slow. We're weak. Weak, I tell you. Badge, I'll take that. Sure. Almost done. Almost done. Oh boy. Holy moly. I don't know that I've ever like taken this long on this fight. It's and it not that it necessarily has anything to do with me. It's just like you know, he goes away a lot, so if you don't have a lot of uh, damage, it can be a... Uh, see, like, I can't hit him right now. You used to be able to hit him when he was like this, but you see, you don't do damage anymore. You don't do damage anymore when that happens. And villain! Oh, it works! Hip holster and villain combo! It works! We do fire too! trying to there we go oh finally holy slow holy ca slowly thanks thanks and guess i'll die <laughs> oh it looked like the ch <laughs> it looked like the chicken brought us back super confused about how to uh fight the new boss with the bait there uh we'll We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out soon. It's new. I want to see it. I want to see it. It is a frequently requested boss, too, if you have not been spoiled already. I'll give you a, a couple days to, to look it up before I inevitably, uh, you know, <laughs> find him. It's the kind of thing where by the time this video goes live, everybody's going to be like, what do you mean you don't know how to... Uh, you don't know how to fight the the boss. What do you mean you don't know how? It's simple. You just take that, stick it up Bellow's left nostril, jump on his right stool three times, and then boom, you fight the boss. He shows up right there in your house. Then you fight Mega Satan. That's like implying Mega Satan's a tough boss to figure out how to fight. I mean, I guess it's like arguably slightly, slightly confusing, but not really. But alas, the Gungeon is remembered. I'm hoping there's some more un un uh, like unlockable items back there for us. Ba -da -ba -do. Glad we got the Railgun, though. Like We had the Prototype Railgun, now we got the Railgun Railgun. Eh? Hey! The Fat Line. Armor Synthesizer sounds really nice. Fat Line. I'm, I'm surprised they put that one in there over some other stuff. It's a... Uh, you know, I always feel like it's a kind of newer, newer feeling weapon. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. It's going to be uh, neat to see how it interacts with the game here. But that is that, and that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It does not take any time at all, and it helps out with the search rankings and the uh, the recommendeds on the sidebar and everything like that. My name is Retromation. I put up videos on roguelikes and more every single day if you like gungeon i have over 1000 i have literally over 1000 enter the gungeon videos for you to watch i uh, you know we, we played a, a hell of a lot of enter the gungeon we played quite a bit of exit the gungeon now obviously it's a smaller spin-off game i'm i don't assume we're gonna do 1000 episodes of exit the gungeon in any capacity but hey who knows with uh, if they add more updates and everything like that who freaking knows, man? The game is really, really good, and uh, I, I always liked it, but this new update, and most importantly, Arsenal mode, really fixes any of the concerns that I personally had with the game, as far as like making it a game that really had uh, ex extra depth that people kind of came to appreciate about Enter the Gungeon. Without the ability to you know actually have a gun and keep a gun and make a build, it's kind of like, I mean, not that you had that much control over it in Enter, it's weird, you almost have more control over it in, in Exit the Gungeon now because of the amount of items that are in the shop. You almost, you get more control to, to an extent, uh, which is pretty pretty neat, a pretty big heel turn to how it used to be. But that is going to do it here for today. Check out my channel for roguelikes and more every single day. Thank you, thank you. If you'd help me out and get into 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, 
by sharing the video with your friends, subscribing yourself if you have not yet. That'd be great. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.